see the fake niggas popping out. I had to go escape into the cloud. I had to get rid of any shut it down. You know you got this. I'm telling you, failure is just not an option. You gotta ride with a stink. Cause somebody might die today and I'm not him. Plot just drop me a new O. Oh, I don't got time. Hey, woo! Hey! Happy Feminine Fridays, you guys! Hey, woo! Hey, I am so excited to be here on this Divine Feminine Friday. So, guys, tonight. We talking about, I don't even know why I got my journal off because I ain't really take no notes. I was going to take some notes so I can make sure that my thoughts was solidified. But that's why, y'all. I'm going to just go off the cuff like I always do. So, hey, who's hey, happy feminine Friday. I am so excited to bring you guys this mother freaking topic. So, guess what, y'all? Today, we are talking about living the soft life. Okay. Now. Y'all know I'm not all about trends and jumping on the hottest trend and things of that nature, but I realize that sometimes God will have me living my life in a certain way or I will find that I am resonating in a certain energy or, um, yeah, basically like a certain energy, like certain um behaviors habits and things of that nature that i may have just acquired right and then i realized that I, it actually falls in line with something or other right so when i did uh the video on living like a goddess like little did i know that i was already embodying that energy right so guys i want to talk to you guys today about living the soft life okay so I realized over the last two weeks or so that I've been living a very soft life, right? And it wasn't anything intentional. Um, it was just something that I kind of stumbled into, like I, like I, like I always do. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about living a soft life, okay? So, um, what does living a soft life mean? Okay, so in my opinion, I don't really know, you know, what what social media deems as living the soft life um but i'm gonna break it down you know the uh regal essence way so anyway oh my goodness so you guys i'm so excited to just jump right in let me tell you who i is i am regal essence i am queen tv i'm queen tv after dark i'm life is a love goddess i'm life is a love back laid back mom i'm your red sunshine and afternoon time i'm your crystal healer and dealer and i'm a pet and i'm your past life princess hey booze hey so all right so let's get into it guys so first and foremost the number one key to living a soft life is mindset right so i'm gonna say the key things to living a soft life are your mindset right um, your temperament and um, the actions that you take in life okay so we want to say those three those three main things right and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna break those down for you so what do I mean by mindset okay getting into a mindset of gratitude right being happy for the little things in life right um taking the time out to realize that first and foremost you know what i mean like first and foremost i want to live a happy peaceful life right in whatever phase in life that i may find myself in so whether i'm exactly where it is that i want to be in life um whether i am in the middle of my journey at, at the end of a journey um, at the beginning of a journey, you make it up in your mind that, you know what, I want to live a happy, peaceful life, right? Then you're going to identify what those things 
look like for you? So what does a happy, peaceful life look like for you, right? So um, a lot of times they say cutting off toxic people. So I would agree, cutting toxic people out of your life is very important, right? But also too, we can't always get away from all the toxic people in the world, right? Because there's a lot of toxic people out here. So you're not gonna be able to eliminate everything toxic or every toxic person out of your life. However, if you have fixed your mindset to live a happy, peaceful life, you're not going to allow certain things to um, aggravate your peace, right? Living in a state of mindfulness. So that's why I say the mental aspect is very, very important. Living in a state of mindfulness. Living in a state of knowing how it is that you want to go about your day, right? So making it up in your mind. You know what? I want to be peaceful. I want to be calm. Like, I, I want to leave out the house in enough time so that I'm not rushing in traffic. Um, I want to leave at, a, at enough time that I am getting to work at a time where I can get in, get settled, get established, and I'm not stressed out. I'm not in a huff. I'm not rushing, right? Those things are very, very important because if you encounter bullshit once you get to the job or on your way to the job, you are already in a in a peaceful, calm mindset. And with that being the case, you are better able to take on whatever it is that you need to take on because you've made it up in your mind, mindfulness, you've made it up in your mind that I am going to be peaceful, I am going to be happy. I am going to um, also talk sweet to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to use... Um, I am going to use mental verbiage that is going to make me feel good about myself, right? I'm going to build myself up. I am going to utilize the principles of gratitude. I am going to be grateful for wherever it is that I find myself. I'm going to be grateful for the things that didn't happen, right? But they could have right and and i'm gonna be grateful for the things that did happen the things that did happen the things that did go my way i'm grateful right i'm grateful for how god provides for me each and every day right mindset okay two temperance temperance has a lot to do with your emotions right and like i talked about at the beginning Wherever it is that you find yourself in life, you have to be able to find your 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 peace in that, right? Now, you may want to do something differently in life. Like, you may want to, um, like for me, for example, I'm in the city of Philadelphia. I'm, I'm over Philly. I love Philly, but I'm over it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't really want to be here, you know, much longer. However... I have so many things that are going on for me that are positive, right? So I reflect on those things, even though I'm in that in-between state, right? I'm in that in-between phase, right? Um, so temperance allows you to find peace and harmony wherever it is that you are. Temperance allows you to feel your emotions, feel what it is that you're feeling, and not be to one extreme or the other, right? That's very, very important. Learning to live in a state of temperance, right? So I feel my emotions. I understand that certain things are going to upset me. They may rub me the wrong way. I may still be healing from certain traumas. I may be still healing from certain situations, but I don't allow my emotions to just, um, just take over, right? I'm not one extreme or, or another right? I live right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? That is so very, very important for living a soft life, okay? So we talked about our mindset, right? We talk about our emotions, how it is that we deal with our emotions. We feel our feelings. If we need to cry, we want to cry. If we want to laugh, we're going to laugh loud, okay? Um, balance, right? Balance is so very important. And then lastly, let's talk about the physical things that allow you to be able to live a soft life, okay? So, self-care, taking care of yourself, doing the things that you need to do to make yourself 
feel good whatever that looks like for you right no one can name um what things how it is that you take care of you right doing the things that you like me for example i love soft y'all i take this soft like to an extreme okay I love soft clothes. I love soft hair. I love soft skin. I love laying on soft covers. I like makeup that when I put put it on, it just it just feels soft and and creamy. I I I utilize products on my face that that feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever I come into contact with I want it to feel good when it touches my body I want it to be soft you know what I'm saying I enjoy really mm, really yummy smells right so I surround myself in 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 aromic like mm, things that are mm, things that just have a really <laughs> things that just have a really great aroma right i buy body sprays and oils that smell good you know what i'm saying like i yo i put stuff on that makes me want to lick myself you know what i'm saying those things are so very very important you guys taking care of yourself um taking your time you know taking your time to do the things that make you feel great right um, realizing that the better you look, the better you feel. So taking that time out to look your very best. And it doesn't mean you have to have, you know, the, the latest designers. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, wear the most expensive hair and the most expensive bundles and all of that kind of stuff. But it means, it means creating a look that fits you you know what i'm saying like what makes you feel good right tapping into those things right um taking that time to just adorn yourself taking that time to make your space around you comfortable right sometimes when they talk about the soft life they talk about luxury but what does luxury look like for you okay luxury doesn't have to necessarily mean ex Expensive, right but it just means that it's 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 good for me it fits me it makes me feel glamorous it makes me feel feminine it makes me feel pretty it makes me feel good about being in my skin okay those things are so very important do what makes you feel good in your skin okay um create an atmosphere around you that is going to allow you to be able to feel peaceful um calm keep clear the clutter away right keep things around you organized and and nice okay and it doesn't mean that you necessarily um have to spend a lot of money right i'm in a very in between stage in my life right i'm 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 not where i'm going but i'm not where i definitely not where I used to be but I'm not where it is that I'm going so guess what I still make my space around me I still make my space around me as beautiful as possible as 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 chi Ooh, okay guys I had to edit that out yo uh, I got a little tickle in my throat I had to I had to cough my little tickle out but anyway let me find out somebody don't want me to talk about this wolf life, this wolf life I'm having. So anyway, you guys, so it doesn't matter where it is that you find yourself. Like I said, still make your area around you beautiful. Do whatever it um, takes in order for you to be comfortable um, in your space, right? Um, your work environment, your home environment. Um, I keep, oh man, like I just... I'm one of those people, I'm very, um, I like things to be really like in order, really neat, organized. I like things around me to be neat and organized. So whether I'm at home or whether I'm at work, um, I, you know, I, I also think being a part of living a soft life is <clears throat> taking enjoyment. Let's talk about it. Taking, um, 
not taking, feeling the enjoyment of making the things around you organized, clean, um, intact, you know what I'm saying? Um, adorning your space, whether it's something as small as like a makeup organizer, you know what I mean? Like something to, excuse me, organize your makeup so you can see what it is that you have, right? Um, little things like that, um, little organizers for your your desk or or your closet or something like that. Just just any little bit counts because remember we talked about gratitude, right? So just being grateful for like the little things, right? Like being grateful, y'all. If y'all knew me, like y'all would. I would crack y'all up for real. Like, if y'all knew me personally, like, it just, it be the little stuff, okay? It be the little stuff that make me happy, right? So just, just being able to find the joy in the little things in life, um, that is going to help you live a soft life, okay? Um, taking time to rest, um, taking time to um, eat well, putting things in your body that agree with your body, um, listening to your body if you feel like an unction in your spirit that there are certain things that you shouldn't eat um certain habits that you should um break certain habits that you should implement put in place make sure you're taking care of your body right so be mindful of what you're putting in your body be mindful that you are moving your body um exercising um things of that nature right all of those things go into living a soft life, right? Um, living a soft life, basically, essentially, as I bring this video to a close, means living a life where you feel your very best all the time. Living a life where you are comfortable within your skin. Living a life where mentally you are very balanced, mentally you feel very peaceful, mentally you feel very clear right and um manipulating the things around you so that you can continue to stay within that state okay um not giving into certain situations that are going to drain your energy right only giving your energy towards things that are going to make you happy make you feel good right sometimes i'm like for example, like with my children, we have a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a power packed curriculum, you know, and some days I go in and I'm just like, you know what, like I'm coloring today, I'm playing games today, you know, I'm going to be the teacher, but I'm just like, some days I'm like, yo, I'm literally going to sit with my kids at the table all day because that's going to make me happy. Like that's going to, that's going to tap me into my inner child, right? And I and I recognize the days that I need to just do that. I recognize the days that I need to just sit in color. And maybe I need to have three or four-year-old conversations for, like, a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Like, I may not want to go in and be, you know, in teacher-teacher mode, right? I may want to be in teacher mode, but, like, I may want to be in teacher mode from sitting on the floor in a circle. You know what I'm saying? So knowing what it is that you need to feed into your into your energy and into your spirit so that you can feel your very, very best, right? And our very best should be a feeling of equilibrium, a feeling of harmony, and a feeling of peace and balance, right? And for me personally, that's what it means to live a soft life. Living in a state of harmony, living in a state of peace, um, living in a state of where everything you touch, everything you touch is soft, right? Um, getting rid of anything in your life that is abrasive, basically, whether it's people, um, the places that you go, um, anything, right? So replacing abrasive things be it physically or emotionally and replacing those with things that really nurture your spirit nurture your emotions 
nurture your mental, nurture your body. All right. So that's all I got for y'all on this Divine Feminine, Soft Divine Feminine Fridays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a comment. Um, Drop me a comment of the, I don't know what kind of flower that is, but it is pink. It is so cute. Whatever that little pink emoji flower is, drop it in the comments, okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Share this video with your friends. Share it with your friends. Share this video with your friends. Comment to subscribe so you know every time I pull up. And remember, I love you. Don't need a key, hop in the bag and they say Mr. V